Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgon 111, and welcome back to Baba Is You. I wanted to return to another simple maze. This is the one where some of the 3D things weren't tall. It occurs to me I did not check if in two dimensional space. Yes, I can still go through the maze. And so it's not the case that while you are 3D versus while you are 2D, that there are different properties. It's just that 3D will only display some of those properties, basically. All right. So that is one thing that I was thinking about since last time. The other one was over here. I might have mentioned it in the previous video. I don't remember. Um, I did look at this one a little bit. I'm still not sure that I'm able to solve it. But I have to imagine that these... Um... Oh, I can... Interesting. I can mouse over them. Um, let's undo. Okay, the cursor can go and not interact with any of this stuff. Yeah, I guess cursor doesn't push. So I guess that makes sense. But I feel like in these areas, like I imagine somewhere it says something like text on tile is hide or something like that. And so this is actually where the rules live out here. Um, and that's my hypothesis about how this is implemented. Although that doesn't necessarily carry over to some of the other levels that we saw in the arcade. In any case, I don't want to work on any of the arcade stuff right now. Instead, what I want to do for today is go check out The Rock, Familiar Land. What's so familiar? Oh, <laughs> tightly packed puzzles over here. Baba needs friends. Statue is push. Baba near Kiki and Kiki is win. Interesting. So if I'm just near one Kiki, that's not enough. But presumably near Kiki and Kiki means near two Kikis. Kiki is stop, Baba is you. Okay, it seems straightforward if I am understanding things. All I would need to do... Uh, Kiki is stop, but I think Kiki is push can still coexist with Kiki is stop, if I'm remembering correctly. How stop and push interact, so I could still push Kiki. And if I could push Kiki, that means I can push a Kiki near Kiki, and then I'm near both of them. Great. I solved the puzzle. This one is called Briar Shoot. I understand why. <laughs> Kiki and Baba is push and defeat. Gigi is you. Okay, so I'm Gigi over here. Something is left. Kiki, Baba is move. Baba is Baba. Kiki is flag. Push flag is win. Uh huh. Built the shift. The vine is defeat. GG's you. Okay. I mostly grok what's going on here. Okay. So let's just do kind of the most obvious things here at the beginning. Which is, if I get these guys going over here, and then say, for example... Baba's move, and then just wait for a bit. Baba will run down here and turn Kiki into a flag, which is great, except for flag is not win yet. So let's maybe uh, not do that just yet. Baba, you can be move again later. Let's try Kiki's move. And so wait on this. And flag is win, great. So Kiki, oh, you should stop moving sooner than that, I guess. Okay, flag is win. Um, right, but Kiki is a flag and I cannot get a... Oh, and also that's going to just keep moving anyway. Because you're on a belt. Right. Okay. 
Right. 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 I am curious. If I had switched... Let's see, Kiki has moved during this turn, and so by the time I break it, Kiki's already moved and then gotten pushed by the belt. I wonder if I can quit, uh, turn Kiki around with Kiki as left. So if I do this, flag is win, great. And now if I say Kiki is left, and then Kiki is moved, Kiki could get back out, and then Baba could be moved, and then everything would be good, I think. I think. Uh, ooh. Baba is move will still be possible to spell even after doing this. Uh, right. So, Kiki, you can move for a bit. That's great. And now I want Baba to be moved so that Kiki will turn into a flag and the flag is win and everybody wins. Especially me. GG. Hooray! I solved the puzzle. I opened more puzzles. Do, 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 do. All right, I like these puzzles. They're just like normal Bobble is you puzzles and not doing anything too crazy with gimmicks. Boo Boo is you. Hee hee. Wall is bush. Flag is win and stop. Ooh. Wall is push. Uh, let's get rid of that. And then all of a sudden I have access to at least can't push the words around all that well, but I have access to using the words. Flag is win. I could say wall is flag. And then the problem is the and stop. But I think I understand. If I were to push a wall so that I could form the words wall is flag at the same moment that I was inside of a wall, it would turn into a flag while I was on top of it, and therefore its stop property wouldn't become uh, an obstacle to me. So I think I need to, for example, be standing here as wall becomes push in order to push some of the wall around somewhere else. Uh, does this all make sense? I think so. So yeah, I'm not sure if this is the best path to victory, but I see a path to victory. Uh, and so it's just the first one I saw, and so I'm going to take it. So, in order to create Wallace Push at that moment, that's no problem, because I could do... Um, yes, this. So. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to push this here. And now here, wall is push, which means I can push this wall to here, which is where I want it. Then let's break up wall is push. So now I have a piece of wall right here, and the reason that is valuable is because then I can do this, and then if I move upwards, wall is flag, the flag will be stopped, but it doesn't matter because the flag will be win and I'll be standing inside of it. There we go. Not only did I solve the puzzle, but I think I explained it adequately. <laughs> I hope you agree. Cloud apartment. An apartment for clouds? All oh, right. I don't remember if there were the stars in the background moving across the sky in the original Baba Is You, but I really like that effect. Um, and this music is kind of like used in the sky world of the original game. Uh, a bit, and it's also just a good track. Okay. Moon is move. Moon is defeat. Belt is shipped. Cloud is stop. Belt is belt. Flag is win. Belt is not push. Okay, so none of these rules look like they are interactable by me, other than the words right below me. Uh, belt is not push. Baba on belt is fall. Oh, that one's interesting. So every time I'm on the belt... I'm going to fall down due to gravity. Uh, Baba is you and not shift. Uh, belt to shift and Baba and push. Okay. So, if I were to say belt is push, uh, belt is not push. Great. Hmm. So 
So the belt is shift, but uh, Baba on belt is fall, and apparently that kind of takes precedence or is happening afterwards. So how can I ever do anything here? Uh, belt is belt, which means I can't say belt is Baba, even though I can already see that from the rules. It's still, I feel like, useful just to uh, play with the rules and see it get it X'd out just to understand all the consequences. Baba is you is the only thing I can be, so if I were to say Baba is belt, for example, that would not help me. Um, hmm. Yeah. For such reasons. And Baba is not shift, so I can't say Baba is shift. Uh, Baba is push. I guess I'm not completely certain why that would matter, other than I have kind of a vague idea of if I had this. Uh, the belt... Oh, the belt is not shift right now, right. But I feel like that could push me up the belt, potentially. Uh, yeah, so... Hmm. What if it was just belt this shift at the bottom here? Okay, let's, uh, let's do a little bit of experimenting. Although, hmm. I need to do it in such a way that it only happens at the end. Okay, that's fine. I can do this. So suppose I did this. It shifts the text up there, but <laughs> I didn't get a chance to try to ride the text. Um, is there any way that I could ride the text? I don't think there is. Because it's already moving up before I got a chance to get on it. And if I just fall down due to gravity, I can't do a whole lot of interesting things there. Is there a way? I guess I could put the text on there first and then change belt the shift. Okay, that actually sounds vaguely plausible. And then I think I would need Baba as push in order to hmm, belt this shift and Baba as push. But just changing the belt this shift at the last moment. How would I do that? Let's not worry about the Baba as push right now, and let's just try to do the belt this shift the way that I wanted to do it. And yes, I see a way to do what I am um, not quite clearly articulating, which is namely this. Okay, so first off, note that I can sit here on top of the belt, which is great, but then if I push this down, oh, it does just ride me up here. Okay, so I've solved half the puzzle. Now for the other half, which is that there are moons here that are going to defeat me. So... What can I do about that? Moon is move, moon is defeat. Moon is not otherwise interactable. I think I need to push the belt in a different direction so that it will both shift me and I can move in the same turn in order to move two squares at once. So my idea is to do... Ugh, this is not going to quite work, I don't think. It might work. Uh, I did an oopsie, though. And it doesn't really matter where it pushes, because it's just going to get pushed up. Okay. So let's just sit here for a second and watch what happens here. So belt becomes... Oh. Oh, and belt does not push. Right. I forgot about that. Okay, so that did not quite work. Um... Baba could be shift. Oh, I could be shift and I could shift the moons. So is there a way for me to say Baba is shift?
I think there is. I think there is. Okay, here is my idea now. Uh, so, belt the shift. Oops, um, that's fine. Um, actually, <laughs> let's restart. So, let me think about this for a moment. This time, I want to put the is shift here for reasons. And then I want the words Baba and Push. I want Baba to be shift after belt is shift, so I guess I want this here. I'm not sure if I need the word push to stand on it at some point or something. Uh, but here is the general idea. Ride this up. I'm about to become shift. I fell because the text got shifted into me and I was no longer standing on top of it. And also, Baba's in the right. Baba should have been on top rather than the bottom. Okay, so I could use push as my... Um... Safety something to stand on something 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 dark side Can I get push all the way over there? Yes, it's no problem at all. Okay, so Here is new plan Gonna push the word push over here. That's gonna be to catch me later on uh, Oops, don't do that <laughs> We're gonna do our belt is shift once again, here, as we do, we're going to put Baba up here, so he's higher up. And then we're going to move down on top of Belt with Shift. This is all going to get carried up. I'm going to stand here so that I will be standing on the push block and not completely fall. Baba is Shift. Baba is not shift. <laughs> I forgot about that rule on the bottom right. So if it weren't for that rule, I think I'd be able to go to the right and then go to the right again, and I would end up shifting the moon, and so it wouldn't be on top of me and defeat me. Um, however, I did not. Okay. Also, I have not used the push predicate in any meaningful way. If I were push, then the moving moon couldn't move through me. So I guess I need to say Baba is push once I get to the top. Uh, in which case, I just need to move all of this text kind of exactly as it is over to the right. Uh, no, not quite, but almost. Yeah, okay, so I have a new idea. And the new idea goes like this. One of these ideas will eventually be correct. Um, how am I going to push the word push all the way over there? I need it to be in the third column. I could push it with my body later while I'm riding the belt, I think. Uh, is that true? I think it would have to start in the exact spot that I want it to be, so I think I actually need it here. Belt is eventually going to come down here, and then Baba needs to be above Belt. Except for even farther above Belt. Because I need to stand above Belt. This might be right, let's see. So, I can push push to the right. Uh, but then I can't stand on. So we'll get Baba is push, which is good, but I'm not standing on any words. And if I move to the right during this moment, then I lose my ability to form Baba is push. 
But I do think that Baba is push would protect me from the moons. Actually, if that's the case... Uh, let's not disable this just yet. If I move one square to the left... I can't because there's text here, right. I can move one to the right, but I'm still falling because of that. So I want belt to shift the whole time to ride up, but then I want to end up as Baba as push. What if I did this? This is not going to help. All right. And I don't see a way. Is there a way for me to get inside the text? That's a good question. Is there a way for me to get inside the text? Only if it shifted the text up onto me as I was moving to the right, I think. Which I don't think is possible in this particular configuration. Hmm. Okay, one other possible idea. Can I do Baba's push vertically at the same time by doing something along these lines? Okay, so I'm already push. Now the problem is I'm gonna break my push ability as I try to move over to the right. However, I can at least verify that I'm going to stand on the belt and not fall through. I am standing on the belt and I did not fall through. And I'm still push. Hmm. I might be able to do something with this. Because I could do... This. And this. And this, but then I fall. Okay, but I like the idea of after riding this up, then changing the rules a bit in this area I'm standing on. Right. So is there any way that I can repair Baba as push after breaking it? Oh, I pushed the text in the way. Oh, I pushed the text in the way. And that stopped the moons, or got them out of sync. That's all I need to do, right? If I could just get the moons out of sync, then if I could get over there, well, they're not out of sync. They're now just in the way, and if I... Hmm. But yeah, I didn't think of using a piece of text in order to block the moons' movement behavior. So that is another possible way to try to get by, maybe? still feel like Baba's push would be better. Is there a way? Oh, uh, another idea has come into my brain. What if I started on the right-hand side? Uh, can I start on the right-hand side? Yes, because I could do this. And now I'm already up here. And so now I can probably push past a moon. There we go. Bob is still push. The moon was not able to move into me because it tried to push me into a wall, which is illegal, which means I made it to the flag because I'm a genius. And we've solved the cloud apartment. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. That one was tough, I felt like. It didn't have a lot of moving parts, so I'm not sure if I can actually call that tough. That might be my brain needs to get back in gear with this game. We'll try another one. Tangled Passage. 
Crab is you. I'm a crab. Look at me. Woohoo. Jelly is float. I see the jelly over here. It's also push. Bloop. Uh, algae is sink. So I guess that's this. Yeah. All right. Hedge is stop. Yeah. Algae is defeat. It's sink and defeat. Interesting. Uh, so even if I were floating, um, it would kill me, but it would not kill the uh, floating jelly over here. Uh, flag is win. Algae is algae and not push. Uh, rock is stop. All right. That was just kind of exploring the level and playing around with the rules. Okay, so let's come up with a plan of attack. Flag is win. Rock is stop. Wow. I would need to float over a bunch of things, it feels like, but jelly is float. Can I make jelly be you? There's no jelly as crab. However, I could say algae is jelly. That would make all the algae become jelly and become floating. So let's just let's just have fun with that for just a moment. Uh, algae is algae, so it's not going to work. I just realized it's one of the rules. So that's not allowed. Um, algae is sink, however. Uh, so I could just we're early in the puzzle and so without thinking about it too hard oh or algae can be sink at least um i'm going to take advantage of that property of algae in order to sink some text into it all right that allows me out over here but then we have rock is stop however i could say rock is algae for example because i can transform the rock Right now, that's the only other word that I still have access to. Still doesn't seem like it's going to be useful, but I'm just kind of playing around with the available space. Or I could say rock is sink, and then sink the word algae. Uh, or the jelly. I can't sink the jelly, because the jelly's still floating. Uh, but the rock is stopped, so I still wouldn't be able to push the word algae into it. Yeah, but we do have undo, so I could say rock is algae. Um, and I could still say algae is sink if I needed to in order to break some more stuff. Um, the jellies still float. Uh, so yeah, I could still form the words algae is sink. But I don't have two more things to sink in order to be able to get to the crab. Or in order to be able to get to the flag as the crab. All right, but that was just kind of a first pass that honestly got pretty close. Jelly is push. Algae is not push. Rock is push. And algae is sink actually work together very well. So rock is push. Algae is sink. So the problem is I need these four bits of text in order to form that and now all I have is jelly is and a floating jelly and the floating jelly is not going to be able to sink the algae because it's floating above it and there's no way for me to make the algae float um I could have rock is push and rock is sink. I'm not going to need the word algae after I've sunk the other stuff. Here's my new idea. Great. Uh, yeah, this seems like it might actually work. So, sink jelly. Sink is. I can't sink the word algae while preserving the algae is sink rule, can I? Rules always read rightwards or downwards, which means I won't be able to sync the word algae because that involves. Uh, no, I can because I'm smart. <laughs> Watch this. Are you ready? I don't know that you're ready. This is some high tech advanced stuff, but get ready because it's pretty amazing. I can do this. 
Uh, no, I can't do that. Hold on. Can I use the jelly somehow? It's no longer push. And if I do this... Actually, I'm not sure about the order here. Uh, no, yeah, that's just gonna sink the is, right? Yeah. I was trying to push that text a little bit farther down so that then I could say I'll just sink and end up with whatever. Okay. So I sunk my is. All right, we got close. What if I use the jelly as push? Somehow there. Yes, so same idea. But while the jelly is still pushable, I do that, except for now I can't sink. I almost can, and uh, there's still possibilities here. Because if I get rid of the jelly as push, I'm going to need the is. I don't need the word jelly. Oh, but it's going to become jelly. Oh, jelly is sink. Why did I not think about jelly as sink before? Um, that's good, right? Oh, but the jelly is floating, so it's not actually touching anything. Um, all right, so that did not work as well as I hoped. And I need the algae to be sink again soon. If I were to do this, we would just get rid of all that text. Rock would still be push, but now the algae would not be sink. But the algae still defeats. So that's bad. So is there a way for me to save the sink word here? If I say jelly is sink, then this is never going to get pushed around. Um... If I made the jelly pushable again... Yeah, there's still vague ideas of what's going on here. So what if I do this? Oh, I can't push the jelly, though, because gonna, that's going to kill me. I can push it with the word algae, though, because this is kind of what I want to do. So I want to push all this together. And do I think I actually want to push it one more down, and I can still do that by moving this text here. And then get one more push, I think. And now, jelly's no longer push, which means if I push down again, the algae, uh, this is going to kill me, but it's going to do a bunch of other great stuff. Because now the is sink and the is push, which are the words that I wanted to get over to the rock, are both still alive, and I've killed all the algae, except I also killed myself in the process. Um, so I need to use the word is to do that, which I can totally do by doing this. There we go. I think I just solved it. So now I want to say rock is push, push the rock on top of the algae, then say rock is sink, that will sink the algae, and then break both of the rules. And actually I won't need to break any of the rules because once the rock is sink and it sinks the algae, they'll both get out of the way and I will get to the flag and everything will be hunky dory. Da -da 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 -da. Congratulations. I feel really good about that. I felt like that was a reasonably tangled passage <laughs> that I managed to open up. Um Yeah. I'm very pleased with my progress today. So I'm going to go ahead and call that a day. I'm going to say that I hope, as always, that you all are having a great day. And I will see you again soon with more Baba Is You. For now, bye-bye. <laughs>